So I think organizations are going to have to walk a fine line between managing their costs and operational control, but being able to deliver growth. And growth requires innovation, and innovation requires investment. And I think that fine line will be what will make the difference between the organizations that will come out stronger from the current challenges we all see, and the environments and those organizations that will struggle. So I think the biggest one is the expectations of employees. Um, we see that employees are very, very focused on reputation of companies, um, the social standing of a company. Um, the first thing that employees do now is look at Glassdoor. They want to understand the policies related to hybrid working, flexible working. Um, so companies are going to have to get smarter at listening to their employees and listening to what candidates are asking us so we can prepare for the future. In our specific industry, I think the, um, the landscape is changing that both clients and partners are extremely margin constrained um, and that leads to pressure on the, on the bottom line. Uh, at the same time, uh, we need to keep investing in uh, additional technology to, uh, to safeguard our long-term competitive uh, strength. So it's balancing that, that long-term and that short-term, which is a, a key challenge nowadays. I think there's a huge influx of new types of technology that have come into the market, uh, particularly driven by the innovations around AI and ML. And organizations need to start paying a lot of attention to this. So the question really becomes around how can organizations adapt to this influx of technology that's coming? So adaptability will be a big issue uh, for organizations, and I see that as a critical area of focus. We've spoken during the pandemic period about resilience. Resilience was all about bouncing back. Adaptability is about moving forward.